okay in this video uh, we will uh, discuss the directional derivative of a differentiable function you know directional derivative can be defined for all functions uh, from rn to rm or from rn to r so for all possible functions you can define a directional derivative but in this case i will take a directional derivative for special class of functions which are differentiable at a point at which the directional derivative will be discussed so uh, we have we will discuss uh, this in the form of a theorem If f from s contained in R n to R is a differentiable function, is a differentiable function at a point. A belong s which is contained in rn where here we will choose a to be the interior point a is interior point of s interior point of s then then the total derivative of f which we denote by ta you know this is a linear transformation then total derivative at a for this very function f is equal to the directional derivative f dash of a y for every y in r n so this is the directional derivative this is the directional derivative of the function f at a point a in the direction of y is actually the linear operate linear transformation t uh, at this uh, total total derivative at a evaluated at the vector y where we already know that this t of a is actually a linear map from r n to r so this actually connects the directional derivative of f in the direction of y at a point a with the total derivative of the function at a evaluated at this very point y further if we have y equal to y1 y2 so on yn then f dash of a y the directional derivative is equal to summation k varying from 1 to n d k f a of y k where this very d k f a is uh, actually the partial derivative of f now let us discuss the proof of this result proof uh, here actually i have to show that t of a y is equal to f dash of a y for every y in r n so first of all we will see uh, if y is equal to 0 if y is 0 y is equal to 0 then uh, we can see that since this is uh, by the definition of differentiability this t of a is a linear linear transformation from r n to r and we know linear transformation always sends 0 to 0 so you have t a of 0 is equal to 0 and f dash a at 0 by definition this being actually the directional derivative this is limit h tends to 0 f a plus h into 0 minus f of a over h 
this is equal to limit h tends to 0 this is 0 by h this is 0 by 1 this is equal to 0 so in this case we have nothing to prove because the two sides are always equal t a at 0 is 0 f dash of a at 0 is equal to 0 means the two are equal in this case now let me suppose now if y is not equal to 0 if y is not equal to 0 then we have this function f being differentiable then since f is differentiable f is differentiable at a belong s contained in rn since a is the interior point of s so uh, function at f the function f is differentiable at a we have by definition of differentiability f of a plus v is equal to f of a plus h uh, here i have t of i have t a at v plus norm of v a a v by definition of differentiability where where e a v tends to 0 as v tends to 0 so this is the definition of differentiability of a function you know this error actually approaches to 0 as v approaches to 0 this is f of a plus v is f of a plus t a at v plus norm of v e a v where e a v tends to 0 as v tends to 0 this norm of v is the norm of actually the space r n the space r n so this is the distance function distance from origin to the vector v uh, in rn now let me uh, use the transformation let v is equal to h of y where h is not equal to 0 h is not equal to zero then my equation one becomes then one becomes f of a plus h y minus f of a is equal to t a of h y plus h y of norm then e a v uh, since you know this uh, T A is linear and you are actually taking care of the scalar multiplication so this H is a real number of course this is a real number so this will reduce to H T A of Y because T A is linear plus mod of H because H is a real number here this is a vector Y is a vector in Rn and you have E A v this further becomes f of a plus h y minus f of a over h is equal to t a so we will divide by h on both sides you get f of a plus h y minus f of a by h is t a y plus mod h by h uh, then norm of y into e a v okay we can see now uh, since uh, our h uh, our uh, v is equal to h of y we can see from this transformation uh, since v is this quantity we can see v uh, as as h tends to 0 as h tends to 0 v tends to 0 and as v tends to 0 we know e a of v tends to 0 so this is this is the definition this is the condition which follows from the definition of differentiability so we have 
So we, we see from this one, as h goes to 0, limit h tends to 0, f of a plus h y minus f of a by h it will be equal to t a y. Because this is plus minus 1, so this hardly matters here. And we know as h goes to uh, h goes to 0, v goes to 0. But then e a v tends to 0. Means as h approaches to 0, this, this quantity will approach to 0. You have only this quantity, but then this is nothing. This is the directional derivative of f at a in the direction of y. So we have limit h tends to 0, f of a plus h y minus f of a over h is equal to t a of y, which means, which means f dash of, f dash directional derivative at a in the direction of y is equal to t a y. This, this verifies for y not equal to 0. For y equal to 0, we have al already verified this. So we have this for every y in Rn. So this is actually the relation between the total derivative at A and the directional derivative at A in the direction Y when the function is differentiable. So th these two are equal in this case. Now let us proceed for, uh, to the second part that's, uh, that's uh, expressing this directional derivative as a linear combination of partial derivatives. You know directional derivative gives actually us the partial derivative when Y is along some particular axis. If y is along kth axis, then this will be the simply partial derivative along kth axis, or you can say direction partial derivative with respect to the kth variable. So in this case, if I choose, in this case, if I choose, if 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 y is equal to any e k is e k, where you know v this e of k is. 0, 0, so on, 1, 0, so on, 0, where this 1 is at kth place, kth place, then I have, then, then f dash of, then f dash of a, e, k will be simply, will be simply uh, the partial derivative of f at a with respect to the kth variable. So that will be the, this will be the notation for that partial derivative of f at a with respect to the kth variable. This by definition of partial, this directional derivative gives us by definition of directional derivative, if we set y equal to unit vector along the kth axis, then the uh, par, this directional derivative along kth axis is simply the partial derivative with respect to kth variable, with respect to kth variable at the point a. Okay, now, now, y is equal to y1, y2, so on yn, and, and we know e1, e2, so on en, en is standard basis, is standard basis for Rn. So I can say therefore y is equal to y1 e1 plus y2 e2 plus so on plus y n e n. As you know when this is a basis of Rn, when considered as a vector space over the field R, every point in Rn can be expressed as a linear combination of these vectors. Now I have y in the form, so these coordinates of y will work as a compo these scalars uh, for this very linear combination. Now let me evaluate t uh, a at this very y. I get this t a uh, as sum of k varying from one to n y k e k. This will be summation k varying from one to n y k t of e k because t is linear and y k's are real numbers. These are the components of y, so they are real numbers. But this is t a uh, of e k. This means t a of y is equal to summation k varying from 1 to n y k. From the above observation we have seen, uh, uh, we have seen uh, t, uh, t a at e k is f dash of f dash a of e k that is equal to t uh, direction partial derivative of f at a with respect to kth variable. This f dash a at e k you can see you can see from this one f dash a 
y is equal to t a y. So here you can also say that this is t a at e k. t a at e k is equal to f dash a e k is equal to d k f a. So I can substitute here d k f of a. Uh, so I can I can write this as I can also write this. Uh, this implies t a of y is equal to. I can write this as d1 of fa into y1 plus d2 of fa into y2 plus 1 plus dn of fa into yn. This is simply uh, the dot product of these two vectors d1 fa comma d2 fa comma so on comma dn fa dn fa and y1 yn y1 y2 this vector and this vector this this is also denoted by delta of fa dot y so T A of Y is has this notation, has this notation. So this is the total derivative. This is also the expression which is actually the desired expression. So this is the relation of the total derivative at A and the partial derivative directional derivative of F at A in the direction of Y. or you can say or f dash a f dash a y f dash a y is equal to del f a dot y okay